Howdy, I'm Rita. Welcome to the Dog Rant, where you can get great canine commentary from a panel of perspicacious pooches, as well as some useful insights from our fine feline producer. I hope you have seen our other videos. For example, my recent rant on state sovereignty. It was my first, and as our producer, Princess Buttercup, said, I made a common rookie error of crowding the camera and, quote, swallowing the mic. I think I've got that all worked out now, so stay with me as I try again. Well, today's topic is dog health care versus human health care. My, 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 you humans are screwing up again. I barely even know where to start. Why, just the other day, I had a little old bout of pancreatitis. Well, my human took me right to the vet's office. They diagnosed me, treated me there for a few days, and I went home good as new. The vet, a very nice lady, saw me every day and told her helpers just what to do. The whole thing couldn't have been much simpler. And my human paid the whole bill, which was not much, on the way out. Now, one of my main humans, my human dad, is a doctor. And his brother is, too. I call him my human uncle. Well, the two of them were talking about how painful and expensive that visit would have been if they had taken me to the human hospital. As my uncle said, the secret of my doctor was that there was no non-real work involved. He said that there was no one there who was not directly involved with making me better. All the work done was for that purpose and that purpose only. I thought, well, duh, why would it be otherwise? Then he took off with a litany of all the things required at the human hospital that had nothing to do with health care. Clerks, administrators, supervisors, lawyers, billing, committees, huge complicated buildings, then parking decks. My head was starting to hurt, but he kept going. Third party payers, conferences you had to send your employees to so they could learn how to get money from this really complicated bureaucratic thing that he called Medicare. Since the doctors were not in charge of everything like my doctor was, you had to have liaisons between doctors and nurses, liaisons between doctors in the hospital, then he said patients didn't even pay for their care, so they didn't care how much it costs or even shop around for someone else who would take good care of them at a reasonable price. And that didn't make any sense to me at all. And all of these folks he talked about in the hospital were not involved at all with the real work of providing health care. They were dedicated to what he called non-real work, which humans had become accustomed to in the hospital over time as being part of the health care experience. But he said if all those people stayed home, the patients would still get care, maybe even better care. That would be the true test of whether it was real or non-real work and necessary or unnecessary expense, he said. Then, he said, the government was trying to take it all over. Well, I barked out loud. You must know already how I feel about postmen. Well, after all that, I said, this is a pile of dog doo-doo. I am sticking with my own doctor. Sometimes I think you humans are really smart, but this ain't one of them. Shame. I ought to hit you with a newspaper. Well, this is Rita signing off. Come back and see us again here at the Dog Rant.